Okay, now here we are on page two, and this page describes the experimental overview, so roughly what it is that you'll be doing in this experiment. But there's also several parameters which we'll need to provide or obtain in order to carry out these experiments. And so that's what we're going to do here. First of all, if you scroll down to the standard temperature pressure dry section, You'll see that the first thing we need to provide is values for standard temperature pressure dry. So to do that we need to provide a barometric pressure and also the ambient temperature. Now unfortunately because of COVID you're doing this activity at home but the subject that we collected the data from for you uh, was run through this experiment on the 18th of September and so let's find the barometric pressure for the 18th of September for that Sydney region, the Sydney CBD region. And so if we go over to the Bureau of Meteorology website, you can bring up the historical data for Sydney and this is the September readings. And so if we go down to September the 18th, we can see that the barometric pressure in the morning on that day was 1032.2 hectopascals. Now we need the pressure reading in millimetres of mercury, so if we go over to this converter website that converts hectopascals to millimetres of mercury, then we enter the pressure that we got off the Bureau of Meteorology website, click convert, and there's our millimetres of mercury. And then I'll leave it to you to enter those details into page two of your CuraCloud notes. Now scrolling down we come across this volunteer selection section and we need these various parameters from our subject. In particular you'll notice we need lean body mass. As a general rule most people don't know their lean body mass and so what we did is we put our subject onto a Tanita body composition analyzer and here it is here. You can see one of our subjects taking off her socks because you need electrical contact with the machine. She then stands on the scales and picks up the handles. The machine then passes a very gentle electric current through her body. Fat conducts electricity less well than water does, and so the machine then calculates your percentage body fat. These machines are actually really sophisticated and they're capable of measuring the percentage body fat in your torso and individual limbs as well. Once the machine is finished, you pop the handles back into their cradles. And then in a couple of seconds, the machine prints out a results page. And this is what it looks like. And you can see we now have all the information to enter into table one volunteer parameters. So we've got age, we've got height, we've got weight, we've got BMI, lean body mass is now shown here. We've got the gender of our subject and we've got trained or untrained and if you look up the top it says body type we've entered standard body type if the subject was untrained and we've entered body type athletic if the subject was trained now I've put a picture of your subjects Tanita body composition analyzer printout on page two for you to use and so you should then go through that and copy the details down into table one once you've done that you're now ready to get started